Hi friends, this week we're on the hunt for California's famous Eastern Sierra fall colors. Join me as we head out to the Virginia Lakes area. I captured this video in fall of 2022 and I hope it will inspire your 2023 fall adventures. The road leading up to the Virginia Lakes area is often one of the earlier places to peak and it is a true highlight to check out on any Eastern Sierra fall foliage adventure. If you're just interested in seeing the fall leaf colors, the side of the road is probably one of the best spots, but definitely don't stop there. Continue to enjoy the lakes and maybe even hike. Located about six miles west of Highway 395 in the Humboldt-Toyabe National Forest, Virginia Lakes Basin is actually comprised of several alpine lakes, which are all connected by Virginia Creek. main lakes can be accessed here by vehicle. Little Virginia right here, Big Virginia and Trumbull and most others can also be reached by trail. Trumbull Lake is beautiful in the morning as the sunlight reflects off the mountain peaks. There are 10 lakes all within a mile and a half radius here, so hiking is a great activity. Just remember you're adventuring anywhere from about 9,500 to 11,000 feet above sea level, so always explore within your own skill and safety limit here and uh, bring plenty of water for your trip. <laughs> Along with hiking, other popular activities here include fishing, kayaking, and canoeing out on the water. Multiple lodging options are available, including cabins provided by the Virginia Lakes Resort and campsites which can be reserved at recreation.gov. If 
you're looking to get out on a trail, a great option is hiking up to the old miner's cabin just beyond Blue Lake. At about a mile round trip, with only about 200 feet in elevation change, this hike heads into the Hoover Wilderness and provides both pristine lake and cascading waterfall views. While this area is probably more famous for its gorgeous aspen that turn the bright yellow colors in fall, because we're at such high elevations along your height, you might even see some of the famous ancient bristlecone pine here. Less than half a mile into this hike, you hit the sign for the Hoover Wilderness. When you reach the split in the trail at this sign, you're going to hang to the right up on our hike. An early spot to stop and take in the views along this hike is Blue Lake. There are a few creek crossings on this hike, but by fall, they might be down to a trickle. As you start to gain a little elevation on this hike, you get some great views of Blue Lake from above. For a spectacular multi-day adventure, you can head out from the Summit Pass and then continue hiking all the way to Tuolumne, which is 20 miles away. Now, just know that any overnight trips here do require a wilderness permit, which can be attained at the Bridgeport Ranger Station. It's often not until the first week or two of October that the leaves really start to change here, but when they do, the green turns quite golden.
Now this little cabin might look like it's seen better days. It's pretty incredible to think of someone building it right above Blue Lake. Inside the old cabin is even the remains of a bed frame and an old table. Would you stay in this cabin in the woods? The hike to this little cabin is about two miles round trip with over 200 feet in elevation gain. It heads out into the Hoover Wilderness and provides pristine lake views along the way. I definitely recommend it if you're in the area. Now, if you have more time and you're still feeling energized, you can actually continue on this trail for another half mile up to Cooney Lake for even more reflections and possibly some fall foliage. Or you can continue to Summit Pass. Uh, for a more challenging hike, the distance would be six miles round trip. And at the Summit Pass on a clear day, you have great views into Yosemite National Park towards Tuolumne Meadow. Thanks so much for joining me today. And for more information on this area, see my full blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.